Tray flip. Hello everybody, it's Pickle Time, and I'm back again with Bossman Jack News. If you guys remember from my previous Bossman video, Bossman had some not very productive hearings back on the 14th of November. To put it short, he was brought in before the judge. Nobody was there to support him, nor his parents, not his lawyer, nobody. And he just got told, no bond. See you next week, buddy. Fucking rig chips, rig chips, rig chips. Originals are rig chips are, dude, oh my God. On the 21st, Bossman had his next hearings, and these ones actually brought us something. And thankfully, once again, we had our friend, Walkow Supreme, from the Kiwi Farms, that was there, at the scene, at the court, to witness all of it. And just like I did last video, I'm gonna read it to you guys, because some of you may or may not be illiterate, so I will provide you this wonderful service. You get to hear my lovely, soothing voice. Let's begin. Live from Louisa County General District Court. In today's hearings, Austin was facing a preliminary hearing to confirm his felony drug possession, along with addressing his multiple bond violations and the new eluding and obstruction charges from when he was arrested on the bond violation warrant. Present were Austin, his defense attorney Jones, different prosecutor, complaining Sergeant Miller, pre-trial services, that which Austin called her his PO, and in the gallery, his father, and one Kiwi, it being Lol Cow Supreme, of course. He seemed mostly neutral, with his face woefully unshaven and a pube facial hair and an all-time high. The only signs of life were when the gallery door would open and Austin would quickly try to peer over the divider to see if it was his dad, mom, or attorney. Once the attorney did enter the courtroom, he took a seat at the defense table and chatted about movies with the other defense attorney, who was there for another case. During this, Austin leered at him sideways, with a slack, cracked jaw, as if the attorney was doing him dirty by not talking to him. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just gotta love the, the crack jaw reference. You guys know. Austin's case was called and it started with a much more affirmative, Good morning, your honor. Seems Austin has learned court etiquette. The first matter was a bond, with the judge needing a reminder why he was in custody for a simple drug possession, stating, It takes a lot to even get jail time for a simple possession. This affirms that Austin's final sentence, if any, will be minimal, if not a fine, had he just planned out initially. All the jail time done is for the bond violations. Prosecution then stated they still objected a bond due to the circumstances of Austin already being kicked out of one rehab and picking up additional charges. This is the same argument as the last prosecutor last week. On the 14th, that is. Attorney Jones' defense argument here was Austin was kicked out but not due to failed drug screens. At the rehab, you guys remember he failed every single drug test that he had before going to this rehab. I got arrested in August, right? I got out and failed every single piss test they gave me. But due to some mental health issues and medication which is on now and stabilized. The judge did not seem to really care about the mementals argument, but went back to the fact it's a simple drug possession. You guys remember all those clips of him saying non-stop that he was okay and everybody was okay? It's okay, right? It's okay. We are good. It's okay. We are okay. Okay. It's okay. We are okay. Because we are all good. We are all good and we are all loved in every way, dude. It's okay, dude. Okay. Yo! Hello? Dad. Dad. That's all right, guys. We're chilling. Is everything okay, guys? Okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Okay, we're okay. It's over. It's over. No, we're okay. What's over? Oh, uh, the, you know, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, okay, I get it, yeah. And, um, we are, we're chilling, man. Everything's good. Okay, here we go. Everything's okay, okay? It's okay. We're gonna be okay, guys. Everything is good. We are all okay, and we're okay. You know, I'm just making sure that we are okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yo, we are, am I okay, dude? It is. Okay, I am okay. We are okay. Yes, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, we're okay. I am okay. Everyone that I love and that loves me and every good person in this world um, feels okay. And we are okay and we're okay together. But are we okay, guys? Yeah, we are okay. We're okay. It's okay, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. As far as I'm concerned, man, I think I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine. No, dude. Am I okay? Am I okay, dude? Am I okay? I think I'm okay. I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. Okay? We'd seen Bossman all cracked out. We were used to that, but seeing him 
this psychotic with what we all assume to be something like, I don't know, fentanyl or whatever. All that boils down to this, confirming that he definitely was on some sort of mental health related medication. Antipsychotics? I don't know. Let's continue. He, the judge, then granted bond of a thousand dollars. Personal recognizance to Austin with the stipulation that he'd be admitted to another program. Rehab program, that is. This time a no-nonsense residential program that the judge stated, I want to make sure he can be done in time because X won't let him out to even come to court. So this is a much, much harder rehab. He used to be released this afternoon as Father Scott to be taken directly to rehab. All standard, no weed, drugs, alcohol, bad behavior stipulations apply. Moving on to the manners of the new charges of the obstruction and leading. The prosecutor elected to null pro these charges as the deputy did not object and they were minor. They did not read in the deputy's recount. Finally, for the preliminary hearing for the drug possession was waived by the defense and binding the felony to circuit court for January 3rd, 2025. Due to this waiving, we did not get to hear the deputy testify about the arrest, charge, etc. So with these news, QEs and rats and trolls rejoiced alike. Finally, we will get boss man out. As soon as he would go to that rehab, finish this program, he can be with us. Giving us the entertainment we love to watch. So we can expect from this more strict, harder rehab that we'll actually have real help there and hopefully stay off of drugs once he's out of there. That's kind of the point of a rehab, right? Anyways, I want to thank again Local Supreme for having been there once again, reporting on Bossman's hearings. It is my pleasure to share it with you guys here on my channel. Alka Supreme, you must know which rehab this is. Later on in the thread, he explains that he's not going to disclose where it is. For obvious reasons, the last time he was in rehab, the rehab got doxxed. Somebody called there and snitched on boss man that he was gambling. And that's what got his stream shut down there. He wasn't allowed to stream anymore there at that rehab. And we were deprived of content from boss man for almost a month. So he's gone. he goes on to say that this isn't just a sober house, which is what the last place he was in, Hedge Hill, seemed to be like, but an actual inpatient facility that doesn't even allow smoking. No day passes to leave on the weekends, etc. Yeah, this seems like a real serious good place. We can expect Bossman to get some actual help. I would want to know how much time he's going to spend there. Is it going to be 30 days like at the last place? Is it going to be for longer? Let's not forget, he's already been 30 days by now in jail, sober. So if he says an extra 30 days at this strict rehab place, it's going to be like 60 days or more that's going to be sober. There's a slight chance that it might work this time. But then again, Austin has been in and out of rehabs, as he stated himself previously, as well as his thoughts on how rehab is or is not effective. Rehab's just a scam. You guys just want help, just change if you want help. You don't need to rehab. I've been four times, I promise you. All you need to do is want to change. Anyways. So it is yet to be seen whether or not the jail stay plus the strict rehab, how effective it's gonna be at dealing with boss man's drug problem. But this isn't the end of the good news. When it comes to his cases, there have been some developments. Good developments, that is. Some of his charges have been dismissed. So his two bond violations were dismissed. And like mentioned previously on Local Supreme's post, those two charges of obstructing, resisting arrest without force and eluding, disregarding police misdemeanors were nolle prosequi, meaning he will not be prosecuted for these two charges. And of course, his felony drug possession states certified a grand jury, meaning it was handed over to circuit court and the date for that one is January 3rd, 2025. Now, one would assume that this means he's out, right? He got bond. Um, not that simple. The one charge I didn't tell you anything about yet is the domestic violence ones. So that charge is handled by the Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court. And he's said to have a bond hearing for that charge today, actually. So theoretically, they could say, uh, no bond for you, Mr. Austin. Okay, you're not going to have your big buffer tonight. But again, with the good news, he, he had this hearing today. So expect more news either later today or by tomorrow, confirming that he was transferred to this strict rehab facility. Like I said, as soon as we have confirmation that he did get the bond and that he's in rehab, I'll let you guys know. Now, this can't be just a pickle time boss man video with me just yapping. I'm going to show you guys some funny clips. Enjoy. Bro! Guys, guess what I just did? I just started eating out of my old bowl of spaghetti. I was wondering why I was cold. And then I looked to my left and there's a whole plate of spaghetti, fresh spaghetti right here. And I started eating, I was like, dude, this doesn't even taste that good. And I put the bowl down, looked to the left, and there's my plate of spaghetti. She's like Chris Chan, but cool, dope motherfucker. I appreciate it. 
Chris Chan. What the f is this? Is that a what? Is that? Never mind. Do you have any chores you have to do around the house? Yeah, a lot. A lot of them. I gotta uh, make my bed. Gotta. Uh, no, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I should do chores, man. I should help out more. Dude, this thing came pre assembled. I just freaking took this out the box. What? You'll see, dude. You'll see. I'm definitely getting a car this time. I'm not gonna f this up. They probably don't even know what's going on, bro. Oh, it is. You kick these. It's the world's gonna be ending in a in dude. I'll tell you what, guys. Why do you think America? I wouldn't be surprised if the fucking if I spit so much truth today that they fucking come and grab my ass. You think I, I think I'm being serious? I'm being serious, bro. You dude, you ever notice when people start speaking the truth, they end up dying? They end up fucking all this shit, dude. I'm telling y'all, man. I know, right? That's what I'm saying, Sammy. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all one more thing. I just thought of it, man. It was really good. I need, I'm trying to open y'all's eyes, man, to the world, man. Wow, I'm fucking retarded. Yeah, I did knock my brother out cold a long time ago because the brothers fight, you fucking weirdo. Um, I have like a woman inside of me. Yeah, I have a woman inside of me, bro. But it's not like I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trans. It's like, you know, it's more of like a mental thing. My mom's always said my dad does, too, dude. You know what I'm saying? My brother, same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't, I don't know. Shit, my bad. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. What? Someone help me. That's actually like has love for me. Tell me what to do, bro. I want to be happy, dude. I want to be happy, bro. That's all I want to be. Oh, I'm so fucking dude. I'm so fucking. I'm gonna fucking dude. I'm gonna fucking dude. Dude, I fucking dude. I'm gonna fucking dude. Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe I just lost all that, dude. I want to fucking dude. I swear to fucking god, dude. Wow.